Hi, this is Vicki Stevens with the Episcopal Church of the Epiphany. Sorry for the delay today. We were going live from my page instead of the church page. This is only my second time to do one of these. I promise you next Friday will be a whole lot better. I want to welcome you for joining, joining us. And we're going to start with today's feast day. That's the feast of Vida Dutton Scudder. She was a missionary child born in India in 1861 and died in Massachusetts in 1954. She was a writer and an educator. Now, right now, the world is kind of turned upside down. So today we are going to pray together for peace and holy unity. We'll be starting on the hymn book on page one, excuse me, not the hymn book, the Book of Common Prayer, page 103. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I'd like to go ahead and invite you to send your prayer intercessions. So at the end of the service, when it's time for us to pray together for specific people or intentions, we'll have them. We're going to be doing today the Psalm 126, which is on page 105. Just please pray with me. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for, for us, for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord like the waters of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father and to the Son and the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The prayer I'm going to use today is from our four weeks together uh, stewardship book and this is the activity for today or the prayer for this week week one it's a reading from 2 Corinthians 13 11 finally brothers and sisters rejoice strive for full restoration and encourage one another be of one mind, live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations and in every place incense shall be offered it to my name, a pure offering, for my name shall be great among the nations, said the Lord of hosts. Thanks be to God. The meditation that I'm going to offer today is actually from a writing of Vida Dutton Scudders. Now bear in mind that people were writing in the late 19th and early 20th, 20th century it was a little bit more flowery than we would say but then we are so accustomed to social media or Twitter to where we have to say things in a condensed fashion but um, she had written a book called Listener in Babel and it was about imagined conversations this particular reading was a, a um, sermon being given in this book. We believe that the voice of the master speaks to us as to our greater comrades of old. Come ye apart into a desert place and rest a while. What rest shall it be? No cessation of action though some of you I know are very weary in body. 
But deepening of action. Do not let us forget the problems that press so desperately upon us. I know that you cannot do this if you would. But let us look at them from above. Let us see the larger sense of the movement of human destiny under the guidance of the Spirit of God. Let us gain anew the vision of the holy city, coming down from God to be with men. We are to enter together that hidden world of prayer, where in abiding we know that failure cannot be. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Would you please pray with me the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayers and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign now and forever. Amen. I'm just checking to see. Hi, Kim, it's so great to see you. Amanda, it's good to see you. Who I'd like to pray for today specifically is for healing for our friend Mark Rojas and for the repose of the soul of his cousin Lazaro Aguilar. Uh, hoping that our co-missionary Bob McClendon is recuperating well. I'm praying for all who are smitten with illness or disease or anxiety or depression or loss of job, or just unrest of soul. I'm praying for peace, for Rita. I'm praying for those in the path of the hurricane, for those on the west coast who face destruction, for those who face worry of any sort due to the environment or to the loss or destruction to their homes or property. Please add your own intentions. There's just a couple of announcements today. It is stewardship season. We'll be going through stewardship from October 3rd to November 1st. We're also having parish elections from October 4th through the 11th. You can go online and vote there. Our in-person Eucharist is by reservation. You can go online and make a reservation or call the church at 972-690-0095. The in-person Eucharists are going to be on Saturday, October the 10th at 7 p.m., Sunday, October the 11th at 11 a.m., Wednesday, October the 14th at 12.10 p.m. Uh, those will be done with distancing and with masks. Outdoor services are going to be on the Saturday the 10th at 5.30 and Sunday the, t the 11th at 8.45 a.m. They're in the north parking lot, that's BYOC. Bring your own chair and uh, a mask, just have a seat in one of the circles. We live stream still on Sundays at uh, 10 a.m. from our Facebook Live. It's been a blessing to be here with you today and join you. If there are no other prayers, and I don't see any added, then let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs>